In this video, we're going to be comparing Adalo to Zapter. What is Adalo? Adalo is a platform where you can create no-code apps quickly. What is Zapter? Zapter allows you to create apps for your business without code. What are the differences? Why would I use one over the other? When I'm looking at these two platforms, it comes down to the functionality and how I'm going to be using these platforms. With Adalo, what I love about this platform is the templates that they provide allows me to get started so quickly. And they have a wide array of apps that are very common that people know about. For example, they have the Facebook clone one, the product hunt clone, and the list goes on and on. So this allows me to build quicker based around the concept or idea that I might have in mind. Zapter also has templates and it has a marketplace to get started. What I would really focus on though is the exact functionality that I'm looking for in my business. There are so many different options with this platform and I can look at the marketplace to get some idea of the functionality that I can have. Let's look at what the differences are and the pricing and things like that. If I'm looking at a Dalo, let's look at pricing. It starts at free. I can start testing it out, all of these things. Again, I would like to highlight there are some limits with the free plan. It's limited to 50 rows of data per app. That makes sense. And if I'm just getting started and I feel like that's not enough, think about this is the idea. This allows you to test your idea, have that MVP, that minimal viable product, and if you don't have the adoption, well, maybe it's time to pivot or look at other things, but you can still have the functionality. You can still use the templates for free to get started. Zapter has a very interesting model, uh, their, their pricing model. They have a free forever plan. And then as you're expanding, as you're adding other functionality, you can go to the pricing calculator and this allows you to see how much you're going to be paying. Again, you can start for free, but if you're going to be adding very specific functionality, it will allow you to see how much it's going to be, ranging from when you're going to submit this to the App Store for domain costs or different plugins that you're going to be using for the platform. Which one would I suggest? Again, it comes down on the exact functionality that you need. I would take out a piece of paper or write it down somewhere on a Google Doc. What are the things that you're trying to accomplish with your app? Who are you serving? What does success look like? And this allows you to decide which platform you would like to use. If I'm looking at this Adalo, I am a huge fan of the ease of use of it. When I have the templates, it allows me to have not only all of the screens already pre-built for me, and then I can just make modifications. It also has the workflow so I can change things. That's what I like about Adalo. With Zapter, I like how clean it looks, how modern it is. What I would caution is, depending on the functionality that I would be looking for, most of the time I would probably just go to Good Barber instead because Zapter and Good Barber are, I feel, a lot closer than what Adalo and Zapter would be. If you're interested to see a versus video of Zapter and Good Barber, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think they're just very different. Adalo, if I'm looking to create my MVP, I still want more control over my project, I would use Adalo. I would be using Zapter if I had an e-commerce business, I'm a local business, I do not have the time to worry about the workflow and all the different screens. I just want something out of the box that's gonna work for me. I would use something like Zapter. In the comment section down below, let me know what you're working on. I'll see you in the next video.